Candles make great gifts. Personalized candles make even better ones. We'll show you how to make them today on Kansas City Live. Plus, we're going to go into the kitchen with La Bodega to put together one hot sandwich perfect for these cold days we've been having. And in our second studio, dancers from the Kansas City Ballet are warming up to give us a performance from The Nutcracker. Now, from Studio 41 on the Country Club Plaza, this is Kansas City Live. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Kansas City Live. I'm Michelle Davidson. Hey, everybody. I'm Michael Mackey. Happy Wednesday to each and every one of you. All right. Well, Kansas City makes a top 10 list of places to travel to. Yes. I love this. We're actually number six. Not too bad. Yes, not too shabby at all. Lonely Planet's Best in Travel 2014 showcases the top 10 places in the U.S. that should be on travelers' radars in the coming year. At the top of that list, Grand Rapids and Lake Michigan's Gold Coast, referred to as the USA's most unexpected beach getaway, and also voted Best Beer City. I didn't know that. Number two, Yosemite National Park in California. And the rest of the top five, Boston. Central Coast, California, and just beating out Kansas City, the Jersey Shore. The Jersey Shore. All right, well, some of the reasons we were number six, uh, all of our beautiful fountains, the best barbecue, our vibrant jazz and blues scene, and great hot spots like the Plaza, Crossroads, and, of course, Westport. They also pointed out the National World War I Museum for all those history buffs out there. So congratulations, we're number six. That's I think that's really great, and they do have some really unique places to visit as opposed to like the traditional ones, Agreed. like going to New York City or something like that. Well, here is a bit of weirdness that everyone is talking about this morning. As the world watched Nelson Mandela's poignant memorial yesterday, the internet blew up with people who noticed the sign language interpreter behind them was likely an imposter. The man who stood behind world leaders and dignitaries was indeed a fake. The Deaf Federation of South Africa caught on to his antics right away, but it was just too late. An AP report said the interpreter was uh, movies, moving his hands around, but there was no meaning in what he used his hands for. That was a quote. Hmm. South Africa's government is reportedly preparing a statement about the imposter, I mean the interpreter. That's weird. Yes. First of all, it is so offensive to all of the deaf community. Second of all, there are world leaders. There's a security concern. Yeah, security he's breach. He's literally standing right behind the most important people in the world that, making, that are making our decisions. And flailing his arms around. I understand he did have some of the signs were real, but he just kept like Repeating doing those them. signs and then making up signs. <laughs> just horrible. There you go. All right, while we're on the subject of Mandela's memorial, it seems President Obama's every move was scrutinized yesterday. Okay, well, first up, the president was chastised for taking a selfie with the prime ministers of both England and Denmark, a selfie, yes. First Lady o Michelle Obama, she wanted no part of it. Look at her, I'm, I, I'm, anyway. Outraged Twitterers took to the web saying a funeral or a memorial is no place for a selfie. People were also talking about the brief interaction between President Obama and Cuba's President Raul Castro. Um, the two shook hands. Cuba and the U.S. haven't had a diplomatic relationship since 1959. So as you can imagine, a handshake means a lot. And so everyone was just like, what? Oh, what does that mean? And just a, just a passing people, handshake. you know, some people are like, okay. And some people are like, that is not appropriate. So it, it's, it's interesting. I think President uh, Obama was on his way to the podium and it was just a passing handshake, but still it's got everybody talking this morning. So there mm -hmm. you go. Well, all this week, we're counting down till Christmas right here on Kansas City Live. Later today, we'll tell you how to enter for your chance to win tickets to the Kansas City Ballet's The Nutcracker. Mm, yesterday, we welcomed Beyond Beauty to the show. Their prize was a $125 gift certificate. Well, this morning, we're happy to report that one Miss Kathy Martin is the winner of the Beyond Beauty Prize. Congratulations, Kathy. Now, Kathy is now also entered to win the Countdown Till Christmas Grand Prize. One prize from each of this week's six featured area businesses. That's exciting. Yeah. Well, if you're asking yourself, I wonder which bizarre national holidays are happening today, you're in luck. Yes. Well, today it's Wednesday, December 11th. It's uh, International Mountain Day, which is hard to celebrate when you live in Missouri or Kansas. Where it's flat. Where it's pretty flat. Well, if you're thinking about traveling to a mountain or climbing a mountain. Climb. Where would be the closest mountains? Colorado? <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm sure you have to drive. Or the Ozarks. I mean, the Ozarks, there. they don't have mountain mountains, but hills. Hills. <laughs> go climb a hill, people. There you <laughs> that's, go. That's what you got. All right. It is also National Noodle Ring Day. It's some strange old holiday ish dessert that no one knows the origin of. Also, there is some discrepancy whether it is noodle ring <laughs> or ring noodle. Either way, enjoy. You had Your fun researching ring. that one, didn't you? This morning? I, I couldn't find anything <laughs> on it. I just, uh, just that's. All. We'll have to ask the chef. I later. think about it in my mind. It's like a noodle. Like is that thing that you eat or that you swim with? You know that you don't. Oh yeah, you like don't a, drown yeah. from. Thanks for the noodles. <laughs> and it's UNICEF's birthday. UNICEF began in the aftermath of World War II as a tiny operation supplying starving girls and boys in Europe, uh, the Middle East, and China with dried milk and nutritional supplements. Now today, the group works with children in 190 countries around the globe to great work. We are so appreciative of their work. Happy birthday, UNICEF. Well, we've got a great show lined up for you today. Yeah, add a little spice to your life with today's delish dish from the chef at La Bodega. Plus, a holiday classic comes to life. The Kansas City Ballet performs a scene from The Nutcracker. Oh, they are lovely. But first, Kelly Clarkson and friends, many friends, will be all over NBC tonight. We're going to tell you why next on Kansas City Live.